Thanks, Mike. Good afternoon, everybody. Just a, a quick update on some of the projects that we've been working. Uh, this is one of the projects that Susie worked, Fair Trade Outsourcing, they are a call center. They leased about 10,000 square feet. Uh, they will be creating about 250 jobs. Uh, starting pay is about $15 an hour. Uh, Valley's still recycling. <clears throat> they purchased 10 acres of land in the Killam Industrial Park, in the Sherryland Business Park. Uh, they are doing a $3 million investment. They're building 20,000 square feet. So if you drive out there off of Sherry and what should be now, oh, what's the name of the street? Uh, Honduras Avenue, you'll see a new development going up there and that'll be 20,000 square feet for their operation. They should be creating about 25 to 50 jobs. Vexus Fiber, they leased about 42,000 square feet in what used to be the old uh, McAllen Bolton Screw Facility off of Ware Road. Um, they are gonna have about 10 or 20 full-time employees. Their investment's a little unique. It's a $140 million investment, but it goes across the valley because they're gonna be putting fiber into different communities. So it's a pretty good investment. Uh, we also have a company called, well, we call it Project Fulfillment. We're not able to give the name of the company, but they lease 39,000 square feet in the Hammond Industrial Center. Uh, their capital investment's about half a million dollars. They're looking at five to 10 employees. And of course that operation will support their Mexico operation. Uh, we continue to work with Zoho. Uh, it's a name that you guys will continue to see. They're, they have some really good growth. Um, they actually just last Friday signed a lease with the incubator in McAllen. They're going to be leasing the second and third floor of the incubator space. They're starting construction this week to finish out the space, but that'll be for their operations. They're going to have about 45 employees. We're also working with them on a 90 acre campus site for the full growth of their operation. So we hope in the next year, uh, some of that's going through a process right now with the city, uh, but we hope to have that finalized and squared away. Um, also in Reynosa Baja Fulfillment, they at least 103,000 square feet. It's unique, it's an operation that they're actually gonna be doing fulfillment for the US side. So you place an order on this side, whether it be through some type of a brand or a retailer, and the fulfillment's actually coming out of Mexico into the US, which is unique. We also have some projects, and, and I just want to make mention of them. I can't say who they are. Uh, they're in process, but we have a company that just leased 96,000 square feet. Uh, they're going to be adding an additional 40,000 square feet to that building. Uh, they're creating about 80 to 100 jobs. It's a $15 million capital investment. We're working to finalize their 380 agreement with the city right now, uh, but they already have leased, so we hope to make that announcement soon. Another company purchased 35 acres of land in McAllen. Um, right off of 10th Street. It's a $15 million capital investment. Also working right now with the city to get that squared away so that they can do their development. They're looking at about 150 to 160,000 square foot facility. Um, and then also we have another company purchased land in the Sherryland Business Park. They're gonna be building about 70,000 square feet for their operation. Uh, they're creating about 80 jobs. And then we're working with one contact center uh, that is very close to signing their lease agreement, so we hope to be able to announce them soon. That'll be 100 jobs as well, and again, they'll be banking primarily. But that pretty much is what we have going on.